So some of the meetings, uh, engagements that have taken place since our last update on uh, January 14th, I think the Chiefswood Park staff had uh, some roundtables over there to f talk about the future of Chiefswood Park. Uh, Councillor Charlie Wayne Martin and I also attended a retreat with the Six Nations Farmers that was held that same day in Niagara Falls. And Council is continuing to do its orientation. We had orientation sessions on January 17th, 26th, and the 27th. We also, uh, Councillor Mark Hill and I and Kevin Sandy also attended a host society meeting of the North American Indigenous Games in Toronto on January 19th. And on the 20th, we were happy to take part in a, an announcement by CBC where they, by they announced a partnership with NAIG to say that they were going to, uh, to show 100 hours of um, TV time during the Games. I also spoke to the executive uh, uh, vice president of CBC and encouraged her to come to Six Nations and do some interviews here because we are going to be hosting lacrosse. We also are going to be uh, putting on a cultural festival, a lacrosse festival, a number of activities in our community. And uh, there's a lot of the teams because the, the, the chef de missions of all the teams and the mission staff were all at the meeting on the 20th. And a lot of them have indicated that they want to come to Six Nations and visit us. And so we want to put on a good, good time for them when they're here. So if anybody's interested in volunteering, uh, you can reach out to Dallas Squire. We have recently engaged Dallas to be the Six Nations NAG coordinator. He's just starting, so as soon as we get more... Uh, contact information for him. We'll give that to everybody that wants to come out and help. Also, we were approached by a, a tribe in Dominica who wants to take part in the uh, in the NAG. They'll maybe do some friendly games in the parade of the athletes, and, and they certainly visit our community as well. So it's going to be an exciting time uh, coming up with the NAG. Um, the, uh, uh, as I mentioned, I met on the, with the Minister of Indigenous Relations on the 20th and the Minister of Finance on the 23rd of January. And on the 24th of January, the Deputy Premier, who is also the Minister of Advanced Education, Deb Matthews, visited Six Nations Polytech, both the Six Nations campus and the Brantford campus. And she was here to, to uh, just learn more about Polytech, and it was also an opportunity for us to advocate to, to get uh, Polytech to become accredited, accredited as a, an Indigenous university here in Ontario. On the 25th of January, I joined our health services staff and our social services staff to, to have a short session with the Minister of Indigenous Affairs, Special Representative on Child Welfare, who is Cynthia Wesley Esquimo. We were, she is traveling across the country to get input and information on recommendations she can make to the minister on how to improve the whole child welfare system. Uh, later that day, I also uh, joined the uh, Grandmother's Tea that is put on, was put on by Nations Uniting at the Grand River Church. So some of the things coming up, uh, upcoming meetings, uh, on the 28th and 29th of uh, January, there was a, a, ba a basketball tournament at Dejo. Um, Six Nations had a, number, had a team in there, a number of teams, and it was really fun. On the 30th and 31st, the Royal Ontario Municipalities Association Conferences was held, and Councillor Helen Miller attended that. On January 30th, we had the grand opening of the SNAP building at Social Services. SNAP stands for Stop Now and Plan, and this is a, a staff over there will work with you, parents and their kids between 6 and 12. If, if you feel your kids have some behavioral problems and you need some help, you can go over there and they'll help you. On the 31st of January, I'll be attending the Canadian Council on Aboriginal Businesses Annual Gala. On February 7th, I've also been invited to attend a Women's Treaty Forum in Toronto. And on February 8th and 9th, councillors Carl Hill, Terry General and myself will be attending the Iroquois Caucus in Ottawa. And on February 10th, I've been invited to take part in the Ontario Paris Sports opening ceremonies, which will be held in Brantford. So if anyone's interested in watching those sports, that's when they'll be on. So finally, uh, at the for this update, we just want to extend congratulations out to Mabel Butler, who recently celebrated her 100th birthday.